Good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming out so early today. We really appreciate this great turnout. It shows what an important issue this is. Um, City Attorney Dennis Herrera filed this lawsuit along with our partners here because it is simply inexcusable for the Postal Service to fail to provide secure and reliable mail delivery to everyone in this city. The Postal Service cannot continue to deny SROs the same level of mail service it provides to residential buildings all over the city. The Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution requires treating like people alike. And that's the theme we're going to stress this morning. And uh, it doesn't cost the Postal Service any more to put mail in a slot, an individual mail slot in an SRO in Tenderloin than it does to put mail in an individual slot in an apartment on Knob Hill. So, and, and as Tara indicated, the consequences of um, not getting your mail when you're living check to check uh, can be quite severe. Thank you, Stefan. Um, that's Stefan Johnson. He's um, going to be arguing the case today in the Court of Appeal um, with uh, Winston Strong. They're our pro bono firm that is uh, taking the representation of our case. Thank you. I just wanted to recognize the work that um, people in the SRO collaboratives have been doing for years now. Um, the SRO collaboratives have been the leaders in this fight to get uh, mail delivery, secure mail delivery in SROs. Um, it's been going on for years. Uh, they uh, were instrumental in getting the mailbox ordinance enacted, which um, requires hotel owners to install individual mailboxes in all the hotels. Also, that led to a statewide law that pr requires the same in SROs throughout the state. And that's really important work that SROs collaboratives have been doing for the residents here in San Francisco and throughout the state. But the post office won't put the mail in the box. So that's where the Tenderloin Housing Clinic and the SRO collaboratives, the Tenants Union, the Housing Rights Committee has joined uh, along with the city attorney to bring this lawsuit and now to bring the appeal after the trial court um, ruled in favor of the post office saying that it was rational for the post office to not deliver mail to mailboxes and SROs in order to save money. I'm Randy Shaw, director of the Tenoin Housing Clinic, and, and before I, I bring up uh, some of the tenant speakers and supervisor Jane Kim, who's been obviously a great SRO supporter since she took office, uh, I just want to mention, uh, I was, I'm an expert in the case, and, and I was asked for about three hours by the U.S. Attorney why it wasn't sufficient to drop a bulk stack of mail in a locked box, why that wasn't just as good as individual mail delivery. And I thought, you know, there's the new NEMA housing over at 10th and Market where they have salt water pools and 24 hour fitness. Imagine if the landlord told the tenants, oh, by the way, in addition to that, you're gonna get your mail in a locked box with 700 others and you can go through a stack. You think anyone would rent a place there? But that's what they think SRO tenants should do. And that's why we're here today. It's crazy, it's wrong, it's a violation of legal protection. And hopefully the Ninth Circuit will agree with us. So Karen, do you want to introduce some of the tenants who are here to speak? Karen Drucker from the Karen! Library. My name is Karen Drucker. I'm a community organizer with the Central City SRO Collaborative. I'd like to introduce um, a fabulous organizer and tenant and resident of the Shriganesh Hotel, Dan Jordan. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Dan Jordan. I also work at the Collaborative, but I'm a resident in an SRO hotel. And I need to tell you, getting our mail, we're at the mercy of the management and the resident or the street people outside. Because half the time, the mailman don't bring the mail all the way in. They open the gate and throw it in on the floor. Someone else comes in, grabs the mail, and you're out of luck. Good morning. It is really amazing to be here with Chinatown, the Tenderloin, the Mission, and the South of Market. And it is so appropriate. 
appropriate that we are here today on Election Day telling the Ninth Circuit that we deserve one of our most fundamental rights, which is privacy and access to our personal communications. This is just as basic a right as voting, which many of us, in fact all of us here, are going to be participating in today if you have not already. But if we want to get our absentee ballots in the mail, in our mailbox, we deserve the same rights that as many of you have already talked about, that apartment building dwellers in other neighborhoods or in the same neighborhood as you are already getting. The Postal Operations Manual already says that we must deliver mail to each apartment dwelling unit. The problem was actually in San Francisco that we didn't require all of our SRO building property owners to have mailboxes in our buildings for the Postal Office to comply with that federal law. So in 2006, actually when I was an organizer at Chinatown Community Development Center, I remember coming to City Hall with many of you to demand that we at the city require a mandate that property owners offer the same basic service that other apartment buildings has, which is individual mailboxes for each of our tenants in our single room occupancy buildings, and we won. Now USPS, with no real valid reason, is actually um, is stating that this ordinance in and of itself is invalid. And I just want to thank all of our organizers, our tenants, and our lawyers that are here today. They're standing up and saying that that's not right. That this is a basic, fundamental First Amendment right that everyone in the city enjoys. And I just want to thank everyone for being here today. I'm so proud to stand with you. And regardless of the outcome today, our communities have won by standing together. And by the way, this denial of equal protection, this is to the vast majority of residents in Chinatown, in Tenderloin, in the Mission. So whatever this court says today, it is about all of our communities together. It is about equal protection for all of our neighborhoods, because this is the vast majority of residential units in these neighborhoods. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to hear from another tenant who is from Chinatown, Carly Liu, um, and Angela of the Chinatown neighbor uh, Chinatown Community Development Center will be translating for her. What you Carly? Uh, I'm Polly, a resident in Chinatown SRO. Right, we don't have mailboxes even in our building. All the mails were put at the bottom of our staircase. If I don't have to pay for it, I have a lot of money. I'm not sure whether I got my mail or not because I'm not certain it got delivered to me. I want the mail service to our buildings. I want a mailbox that's mine. Thank you. And um, we are finally going to hear from Laura Meek, who is a Tenderloin Housing Clinic resident manager at the Edgeworth Hotel, which was not grandfathered into the mailbox delivery uh, service through the Postal Service. Um, so they will be stand to benefit from a reversal of this uh, of this case. All right, Laura. Hi, Oh gosh, the outcome today is amazing. Um, I want to tell you that I get to, unfortunately, see every day the impact of uh, the mail not being delivered uh, properly into the mailboxes at our buildings. Um, our tenants are every day looking for their mail. Where's my mail? When is somebody going to deliver it into my box? The mail gets dropped off into a box that's at the front of the building and then a manager from another site has to come in and sort the mail and then put it into the boxes. So the point is that uh, the, the citizens and the tenants that live in SRO buildings deserve 
regular mail delivery. And it's so important for them to be able to get their medications, to get their checks, to get their personal mail without having to worry about fraud or somebody stealing it. Thank you. I don't know if, if it was lost in the mail, I don't know if it was taken or whatever, but my check is gone and I have not received it yet. So I had I have to go through all these changes in order to get this in check back. Do do after Davis, do all this in to get this in mail back to me. And I have not been paid for, for the work I've done yet because of the mail situation. What we really want is for the mail delivery person to be the responsible party for putting mail in the mailboxes. That's their job. That's what they get paid to do. Make them do it. 